is my extended flat panel that I just built. Uh, it's off of another aircraft. So I modified the mounts here and here and here along the back. Uh, this was an afterthought here because the floor was uh, needed stiffening because of the force that this creates. It was pushing the floor down right here. Um, I'm going to fly it like this first and uh, then I'm going to rebuild this lower mount later on after I get the plane done. Um, I'm going to cut this 10 millimeters back from the hole here. I'm going to take this hole out and I'm going to integrate this into this mount here. So this will move this closer, it will lighten the hole stiffer on the floor and uh, it will do away with these two pieces that are sitting on top of one another. I believe it will be a lot lighter and it will be just as effective and uh, I can just go ahead and uh, fill in these other holes with rivets. Um, other than that, it was a fun project. It took me about three days. And uh, I have push rods coming. This will be the push rod that I'm going to be using. Not this push rod, but the same size. This is 3.8 4130 chrome molly steel. And I also ordered aluminum on the same uh, stock. So I'm going to try both of them out. Uh, I already have a piece of aluminum rod that's uh, fairly rigid, but I went ahead and ordered both. Um, it's going to connect right here on the back. This side here will slip, will bolt in there. And then it'll go down to the back to the other end and a hole will be drilled all the way through this tube and a bolt will come through and it'll connect there. Um, the reason why I went with this the smaller steel uh, versus the three quarter inch 4130 chrome ollie was the fact that uh, I need clearance right here in this area where the seat dips down so the smaller rod gave me that clearance um, I'm hoping that I can use the aluminum uh, the 6061 uh, for the push rod I believe it's rigid enough but uh, we'll see when I get it so I'll take another video when I get that done and uh, give everybody a bird's eye of uh, how it's going to turn out. The handle right now is a little tall. I left it tall. I still plan on cutting it down to there, but I wanted to get the seat and stuff in before I'd done that. It's just a matter of cutting it with a bandsaw around there and uh, taking this little insert out, cutting off your other tube uh, 15 millimeters, and then uh, putting it all back together. As you can see, it works pretty good. Another thing that I did was I added a notch in this system. Uh, it had this notch, this notch, and this notch. I added one in between the last two. Um, after doing the calculations, I will we'll end up from neutral to the last notch with the same exact 32 millimeters of travel. So it will give me the 15 degrees of flaps that the factory calls for no more. The only thing that I will have is I will have an additional two, which I'm assuming is going to be 5, 10, and 15 degrees of laps. So I'll give you a little, little bit to choose from. Anyway, that's my flap handle for the Xena 701.